Ooh, ooh, spooky. Welcome to 6.30 a.m. All right, we're on day two of the uh, Spectre Dive Boats uh, adventure in California. As you can see, it's still fairly dark. Sun's coming up, but um, I'm a bit more awake today, so I figure I'll uh, take you around the boat and show you actually what it's uh, what it offers. So I'm standing up behind it right now, and There's the name of it. Oh, now it's really pitch black. Anyways, you come up here. And it's getting a bit loud, so I'll cut it for now. Okay, so once you get up on the steps, the main diving area is just here. Do it with a hot tub. And uh, I guess I'll take you inside. Which is a bit tricky in the morning. Okay, so I'm taking a seat and we're in the galley area. See there, uh, our chef is making our breakfast. So you get breakfast and lunch and a uh, sort of a dessert thing at the end. And uh, between the first and second dive, they give you like little fruit snacks type of stuff. So you're well fed. And uh, some people put their gear in here, like me. I'm over there by the orange juice. The best. So that's the uh, that's the galley area, really. I've just come down the uh, galley entrance to the uh, bedding area. So they used to let you stay overnight, but since the um, conception boat got fired, the um, Coast Guards told them that they uh, can't do that, at least for the time being. So we stayed at the hotel and we've come in, but you can still sleep on the uh, bunks here. <sighs> bunks being these guys. Yeah, so kind of like what I did in the Bahamas, oh so long ago. Um, yeah, so you can come take a nap in here if the uh, boat's not rocking too much. Uh, it wasn't on the way back yesterday, so I think Evgeny had a good two or three hour nap here, so... They're pretty soft, as you can see. Uh, beyond that, though, I think there's a couple more in here in the dark, but... Well, I can't find the light switch, so it's dark, but there's more than back here. And finally, um, come back up to the top deck, so what I mean by that is... There's everyone going there. Uh, on this wheel here. Yeah, by the wheel here you can come up, and uh, it's a bit windy on the trip, but it, once the uh, sun comes up and it gets warm enough, it's pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, there's benches here. You can put your dry suit stuff on if you're wearing a dry suit. And, um, yeah, I found it to be a nice place to be up here. There's also a little bit, uh, I'll show you from here. You can also... Yeah, you can also go by the front there as well. So I think that's pretty much the boat. So, I mean, like I guess we gear up down the bottom there, and uh, there's a hot tub, but it's not particularly big. I think you can probably get about four people comfortably in there, and then then you're starting to squeeze. Um, I think if you're dry suit, uh, not if you're dry suit diving, it's not going to appeal as much. I think if you're in your wetsuits, yeah, you'll come out. You're a bit cold, and you want to warm up the tub, and you're already wet anyways. But uh, a couple of rules they have. I think they say no neoprene in the hot tub, and um, when you want to go inside, you got to drain those boots if you're wearing boots, and no neoprene down in the bottom of the bedding areas. So, some minor rules, but nothing that's too difficult to follow. I think that's pretty much the tour of the boat. If I miss anything, leave it in the comments, and I'll try and describe it, I guess. All right, all right, I cheaped out. I'll show you the deck. So. to get in there. Um, you get a dive station and you number it and you sign in with your cert card and all that. And I'm stuck here on 21. Pretty much the entire tour. The only other stuff is you got your mask, green station, your uh, antenna camera It's going to be in that bucket by the end of the dive, so if you can go find it, it's that corner. I think there's space for 30-something divers, so expect a packed house on a weekend. And uh, the sun's coming up and it's getting warmer, so that's the boat tour, I guess. I can't think of much else to show you. If I do, I'll pack it on. So, now we're heading off to the islands. And breakfast.
Don't be so negative, man. Come on, Mr. Freeman. He is your name, says Free in your mind, huh? I know you're serving me right now. That's okay. Because I like your furball. It's all about the furball, right? Exactly. Yeah, it makes the sound quality great. They'll be able to hear you, no problem. I know, I know. No windows at all. That's great, by the way. I'm not being negative, but uh, as you can see, I'm in a uh, I'm in a wetsuit all of a sudden. That's because uh, the zip doesn't want to play ball on the uh, dry suit. Running across, it doesn't zip up anymore. So we improvised. I got uh, raised board shorts, a couple other things around the rental dry suit, a uh, wetsuit. Jeez, can't speak ever. But hey, it got in the water and I was warm enough, so power through. Anyways. We'll get on with dive number two and hopefully there won't be any more disasters, at least for the day. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm going to try and pick up where my audio uh, screwed up in the field there. So that was actually, what I'm saying here is that was my hundredth dive and uh, it took me about three years to get there. But um, basically the highlights that I found for that hundredth dive actually was that free swimming uh, horn shark, which is pretty nice. I was happy to get that. Um, um, now I think I'm going to be showing you at this point is um, those were our first two dives and uh, we did, then moved on. So I'm showing you Santa Cruz, and uh, now we've moved on to Anacapa for my 101st dive, obviously. Okay, let's get back to the action.
That's it guys, three dives down, another day successfully. We had two uh, dives there on Santa Cruz, one on Anacapa. But overall, pretty successful day, uh, except for on the last dive I got lost in the kelp, had to find my way back myself, which wasn't great. Um, we're in the video now you can see that we're making our way back to the mainland. Um, so, not much more to say here, as, uh, except I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope that everything turns out, which obviously <laughs> didn't with the audio. But um, there's one more video coming with some special stuff tomorrow. For now, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.